what happened two years ago was the beginning of the uh, of the campaign to elect the the officers of the Democratic Party of Oregon, um, and what was unusual about the set of the December election was that there were 109 PCPs appointed that month on December 28th, which um, is between Christmas and New Year's. It was a, a very unusual appointment because there was no screening. It was just someone walked in with a stack of 109 people that, to be appointed. Um, what was interesting is about who was on the list. Uh, the Thomas Wheatley, who was Governor Brown's campaign manager. Uh, Rachel Barnett was on it, who at that time was the DPO deputy director. Uh, Lisa DeZono was on the list. She's a major donor who would uh, eventually become appointed chair of the Rules Committee. Uh, Molly McGuire, uh, who was on Senator Merkley's staff. Uh, Candy Smith, who was on the DPO staff. Her fiance was on the list. And then Jefferson Smith, son of Meredith Wood Smith, a uh, former DPO chair was also on there. And those are just some of the names that I could recognize out of the 109 people that had been recruited. Um, and the reason why these were important because these 109 appointees were then eligible to vote for the state central committee delegates from Multnomah County, who then would vote for uh, the officers at the Democratic Party organization in the following March. On the next slide, you can show what the PCP appointments look like. So to put this in scale, Back when I was chair of Multnomah County um, about two decades ago, there were about maybe 250 PCPs in total. And what they they appointed that night was 109. Uh, and this is a graph showing the appointments uh, leading up to the December. So there were none in June, none in July. There were like six in August. There were none in September. There were 20 in October. There were 15 in November. And then we get this slew of 109 appointments um, that were unscreened and, uh, and uh, appointed to Multnomah County uh, Central Committee. Ordinarily, you know, we welcome PCPs with open arms. Um, uh, but then at the next slide shows what happens at the reorganization. Uh, so some of those people act, ended up running for state central committee slots. And of, of those, Loretta Smith, Elisa DeZono, and Mary Nolan were elected as state central committee members. Um, we don't usually get county commissioners <laughs> running for these positions. Uh, these are usually held by grassroots people. Uh, and certainly it's, it was unusual for Mary Nolan, uh, who was a former House Speaker, um, uh, to be elected. And then under the alternate delegates, and really what differentiates the delegates from the alternate delegates is that they just got fewer votes, and so they, they filled up the alternate slots. Uh, they included Meredith Wood Smith, former chair of the DPO, Barbara Smith Warner, who was an Oregon House representative, Molly McGuire, um, uh, Berkeley staff, and then Tim Leahy, who was from the Wyden campaign. Um, again, it's highly unusual for PCPs who just show up to get elected for state central committee seats because they're they're uh, highly sought after. Um, uh, five of the seven were elected to these. Um, and then these people eventually voted for the DPO officers in the March 2017 reorganization. Um, and the, the chair of the DPO won by switching nine seats. She only won by 17 votes. So you can see where every vote counted. And they would have done much better at the State Central Committee uh, if, if uh, we ourselves hadn't uh, mobilized PCPs to attend. Uh, Multnomah County actually reflected the, the base, which we know 56% of the Democrats in Oregon are progressive. And so uh, that's how we maintained our numbers there. Um, so I just thought I would share that with you, what happened behind the curtains, because everyone was wondering how how the chair of the Democratic Party got elected when she had never attended a state central committee meeting before.